I'm Brad Nessler, here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the USC Trojans and the Buckeyes of Ohio State. There's going to be some exciting NCAA action here. It just seems like this season's getting more and more intense with each week. And here come the Buckeyes. I'll tell you, this one can go either way. Kirk, what do you think will happen today? USC has the edge in this one, and literally, their defensive end has unbelievable speed and quickness off the edge, and that's the main reason I'm picking them to win this one. It's that time. How about it? There's no way the Buckeyes lose. <laughs> All right, folks, you heard the coaches pick. Now let's head down to the field for the coin toss. Takes it at the 12. At the 40. Across midfield. Nobody's going to get him. To the 10. They return it all the way for the touchdown. And they give up the touchdown. <laughs> I'd hate to be going to the sideline and have to face my teammates. With Cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. He passes it. Got it to his receiver. Amos brings him down. Drop back to pass. He steps up. Down the middle. And he brings it down. The defense looked a little lost on that one. Defense looking for his first incomplete in this drive. Down the middle. Still perfect on the drive. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to us. Fakes to the back. Throws it out there. Completes another one. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. Setting up the play action. He's looking. End zone! Into coverage, and the defense has it. Gable recovers a loose ball, and it pays off. Touchdown. He drops back. Darts it to the left. Into traffic, and it's picked off. And he's taken down at the 11-yard line. Great catch by the linebacker, but not a smart throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the quarterback even saw the linebacker hanging in that area. It pays to be in the right spot at the right time. The kick is up. And he's got it. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. Caught. Grant tackles him at the 42-yard line. Good yardage that time on the pass. The thing that makes this play work is the quarterback. He throws this thing right in there. What an arm this quarterback's got. He drops back. Under heavy pressure. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Throws a ball. Got it to him on the run. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, USC. The throw to the wide receiver goes for a touchdown. That kid looks like a natural receiver out there. Well, you could say he's from a good pedigree when it comes to football. I think his father's taught him very well. And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score, USC 14, Ohio State 10. Formation. Pryor fakes the handoff. He lets it go. Got it. And he's all the way down to the 27-yard line. The quarterback broke down the coverage on that one. First down. He's dropped back to pass and see zone. It's a matter of you and the receiver getting on the right page and finding the right window to put the ball through. Hey, Kirk, that's probably what you did playing in the backyard, right? The three wide. Pryor options out. 
Brought down at the three-yard line. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. Boy, I tell you, this is impressive to see this offense. Pryor sets up the play action. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Looked like the defense just forgot about the tight end on that play. Yeah, he seemed to slip right through the secondary and find an open. I can't believe the defense allowed that to happen. Especially in the red zone, Kirk. They got to be aware of this guy's pass catching abilities. Pryor drops back to pass. He throws it. Caught. And they bring him down at the 33. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. Pryor drops back. Looks. Shakes off a tackle. He steps up. Wants to throw outside. Brought down at the 11. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. up looking great coverage and it's intercepted penalty marker down in the backfield might be a holding call this is just an unnecessary hit he should have been disciplined for a play like that his coach was here before halftime looking to throw fires this one the defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. The quarterback really took a shot after the play, and I'll bet that's what this flag is for. First of all, dropping the pass. Man, there's that close. It looked like his momentum just carried him to the quarterback. That was definitely a late hit. He could. It's up. And it's right down the middle. Well, we've got a barn burner here. And at the end of the first half, our score, Ohio State 20, USC 17. Looks to pass. Steps up. Looks. Down the middle. Got it to his receiver. Power tackles him. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. And he's got him on the fly. Nice catch by the receiver. That reception put him over the century mark for the day. And you want to know something, Kirk? What's that? This receiver is the real deal. He's a great... First down. Look at the throw. Across the middle. Into traffic and it's picked off. That's his first pick of the season there, Coach. Oh, he picked a good time to get an interception. This is a close game, and that turnover can be the difference maker later in the game. Here comes the pressure. Breyer gets sacked for the loss. The blitz worked in their favor, fellas. Yeah, you're right. They were able to get good pressure on the quarterback and free up the defense alignment for the sack. He's on the field to counter this five-receiver look. He steps up. He breaks it. Number 15 rifles it over the middle. Found his man. And he's all the way down to the 48-yard line. He got it to the receiver in a hurry. That ball was on a line. The defense could knock it down because they couldn't see it. It was a laser beam. He drops back. Steps up. He fires right. He's hit and taken down. That was a laser, Kirk. And they're going to try to get it through the air. He lets it go. Catches it. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. 
That's a first down right there. Yeah, if I was a defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. Well, this quarterback is very good at recognizing zone cover. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. Coleman brings him down at the 16. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. Across the middle. Got it to his receiver. Boy, does this kid have an arm or what? Are you kidding me? It looks like he has a rocket launcher attached to his shoulder. Only a field goal separates these two teams as we move to the fourth quarter. Formation. He gets another carry. Tackled for a loss. This is what you call... Turning it up a notch. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. And with that field goal, we are all tied up. Yeah, well, that was a clutch field goal without a doubt. After that, steps up. He throws. Got it to his receiver. Now that's what you have to do on third and long. Yep, he went right at They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. Number 15, zips it, catches it, and down he goes at the 48. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarter. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. Number 15, lets it go. He's right there for the interception. That interception could change the whole face of this game. One thing about this interception, it couldn't have come at a better time for this football team. Now all they need to do is get some points on the board. Pryor still has it. He heaves it deep. And he got it! And they'll score. That's a clutch touchdown to get the lead. But, Coach, there's still some time left on that clock. Yep, just under two minutes left on the clock. And that's way too much time for comfort. Well, we're about to see how well these guys can run a two-minute offense. kick Johnson fields at the goal line at the 30 at the 40 across midfield at the 40 at the 30 to the 20 to the 10 he returns it all the way to score guys what do you think about this situation a field goal will do it Kirk. they'll throw on first down surveys the field feeling the pressure can't wrap him up brought down at the 40 Defense was coming with heat on that play. Yep, but the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignments, and that gave the quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass to pick up the first down. It's a pass on third and short. He's looking. Throws it. They connect again. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense, and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. Looks like someone went a little too far with the celebration. So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. Rolls right, surveys the field, fires, and he gets the touchdown. Outstanding play to the wide receiver as he took it the distance. It's almost if the receiver told the defensive back, you think you can cover me? I'll see you in the end zone. Yo. Got with three receivers. Gable, the ball carrier, makes a move. He lost the ball, and he's hammered down. And that's the end of this overtime thriller. Kirk, any final thoughts here? Well, guys, I really enjoyed watching these two teams play their hearts out in this game. USC really gave it all they had, but they just didn't have enough left in their tank once they got into overtime. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, Ohio State 34, USC 27. For Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler with our final goodbye. We'll catch you next time.